Hi Robin with OxyDry and uh, today I am uh, messing around with my uh, US products ultimate PB3 the ultimate <laughs> upholstery cleaning machine I bought this a few years ago off the original owner um, and this is a uh, very interesting and unique upholstery cleaning machine which I'm going to get to in a sec we're going to come over here and I'm going to show you something that came with it which is a a little bit of uh, information on the machine and uh, you might want to freeze the video and take a look at that if you're interested um, I think this was about 20 years ago this guy bought this maybe even a bit longer um, hmm. interesting so um, Anyway, uh, and there's a, a couple of brochures on the machine right here. Um, and there's a picture of it there. And uh, it has a really unique cleaning tool, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I've shown this machine before, but it's been a while. I know some of you guys um, have come, started watching my videos, and maybe you didn't go back into my archives and see all these videos, but. I actually did show a video where I opened this mach that machine up and uh, I did some repairs on it. And I had to, uh, when I got it, it had, um, uh, the carbon brushes were almost worn out. It has about 700 hours on it. The motor is in great shape other than the carbon brushes. So I just replaced the carbon brushes and uh, the pump had a little leak, which I was able to fix without any problem. And... Um, and it's been fine. I used it for a few months, uh, and uh, and then I switched over to the E600, which I had actually bought almost exactly at the same time. Um, and um, I found that it basically did everything the PB3 did, only it is a bit larger, and um, but it runs on two cords. So a couple of interesting things about this machine: um, it is the only machine that will run. You can run solvent through it. It's designed for that. Um, with it, the type of pump it has, it has a centrifugal pump. It's a 40 PSI pump, um, which is obviously sounds very low, but um, yes, you can certainly clean furniture with it. Um, running over a little over 200 degree heat. Um, it works very well, very effectively. Um, it can do drapes, and I'm, I'll show you why that is in a sec. Uh, there's a picture of somebody doing drapes and there is a video on YouTube showing this machine cleaning drapes Just look up US products oh, um, PB3 drapery cleaning I think or something like that and you should find it um, What else can I say oh, it's, it's quite compact 46 pounds, so it's a very compact machine um, Doesn't pick up take up a lot of space and although it doesn't hold over water that's true you can actually go for quite a while before you dump and load again in fact probably about as often as uh, when i'm using the e600 it's that aspect of it is um it's not you're not loading and filling it all the time because remember you're using a way less volume of water at 40 psi so um it's not as uh, laborious as you might think, but it, because the tool is smaller, at least um, it, it's a it's a bit slower going than it would be with the E six hundred. Why use a four inch tool? Uh, use the uh, uh, what do they call it again? The the um, not the dripless um, closed jet um, um, oh, a PB uh, PMF tool is what I prefer to use. I've used the, um, I have a, where is it? Oh, it was right there. <laughs> um, well, I guess I put it away. I have a um, Sapphire Scientific tool as well, but I don't, I prefer the PMF tool. Anyway, um, this tool here, uh, as you can see, it has four interchangeable heads, which I'm going to show you in a sec. So it'll do drapery or whatever. Um, there's a couple of other things in this brochure you might be, you'd be interested in. Um, anyway, let's go and take a look at the machine. And we'll run it. 
it has a cooling fan you can hear the cooling fan running at least i can anyway <laughs> um and we'll hook up the uh, pressure line and um we'll put this tool out of the way for a minute and uh, i'll show you what it looks like inside here there's uh, the stainless steel tank i guess it holds about two gallons and when you turn the pump on it, it's constantly recirculating there's a filter down the bottom there um we have here the vacuum the pump the heat and um the variable control temperature from 125 up to 200. there's an hour meter right there and it runs on one cord that's a real advantage um well it can be an advantage anyway if you're in a situation where you have a limited amount of power available to you this machine you can still run your heater uh or even if you were in a situation where you were really weak on power you could run it without the heater and you'd be running very few amps because the pump is a uh, doesn't pull much amps at all so anyway i've got the uh, here's the tool you can see the um it came, comes with this nice little case and these little attachments which go on will give you the uh, option now it'll do drapes because the drapes won't get sucked in through these little tiny holes and there's that one and then we got this one which is just slots i guess and then um oh this is a wider one for doing you know we use this on um furniture oh i'm going the wrong way um like that and then the, basically that's the same thing only just that it's smaller so we'll turn it on there's the pump running get the heat on and the vacuum It's actually pumping right now. It's spraying. Probably can't see that, but there it is. It's spraying out to about here. Actually, over there. It's hitting my hand. Move over here to the breadboard box, and you'll be able to see the spray. So, when you go like that, when it's, as long as it's on the fabric, you're not going to be getting any. Uh, any overspray. It was actually pretty good. Um, it's an easy tool to use. I have used it a few times, but I do prefer when I've used this machine, I've usually used the uh, 3 inch PNF, or yeah, PNF uh, internal jet tool, which is sitting right here. But I can feel the heat is really built up now. What we'll do is we'll switch over to the CNF tool. But in order to do that, I have to do a little bit of a gymnastics here. Hang on a sec. Because of such low uh, pressure, I can switch the the pump, uh, the pressure line without any trouble. But I have to switch the vacuum over here. I find that with this tool, it definitely, uh, it's a lot more precise. So if I was doing something 
and they're really delicate. And uh, yeah, I have some concerns with or whatever, having the ability to choose this machine with its uh, a little more finesse, I guess you could say, uh, is a good option. And, and boy, is that thing get hot. I mean, I'm, I pull the trigger now and that water hitting my hand is, it's 200 degrees. <laughs> it's hot. Anyway, so that's the uh, US product. Ultimate TB3, and um, I did say that it will run. You can clean with solvent. When you do that, you have to suck out all the uh, solution, liquid or water-based solution from the line, and then you turn the temperature right down to 125. And you would run. Uh, you'd clean with this. This you could put this into that machine and clean with. But one of the reasons why I would hesitate to clean with this is then. What are you going to do with that when you're done with it? <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. Things are getting more sticky these days, so as far as dealing with those sort of things, so um, I've never, I've never actually cleaned with the solvent, and nor do I think I would ever have any reason to. Um, but if I had to, I could with this machine. So anyway, I thought you might be interested to see this, because um, you certainly don't see these around much anymore, and. Um, so there you go. There's the U.S. Products Ultimate PB3. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.